This is eight psychology, AQA psychology paper one, the memory topic. This particular question is how the cognitive interview has improved accuracy of eyewitness te testimony. So these are exam uh, skills, exam tips. Okay, let's have a look at this question and how we should tackle it. So the question is, explain how the cognitive interview is used to improve the accuracy of eyewitness testimony for six marks in this case. Right, so we need to focus on how, explain how it improves. So yeah, we are using those four steps that we know, but we are focusing on how that improves accuracy. Okay, so your four steps, context reinstatement. So in other words, trying to get the person to mentally or literally physically go back to the context. If they can't do it physically, get them to create it in their mind, recreate the situation. Um, and why, so that's really what we're saying for our first point. Second one is how that helps, okay, how that actually helps. So that would act as a clue or cue, triggers to help recall. So we're likely to have more recall. If we do from a changed, uh, re recall from a changed perspective, which is the second one, basically we're trying to create the situation mentally again, from the view of somebody else or a different location in that scene. And why is that important? Well, again, that would allow triggers for further recall. I would recommend that you don't use both of those two. You would use one of those and the other two that we're going to talk about. So maybe the third one, recall in reverse order. So the witness is asked to describe the scene in a different chronological order. For example, from the end of the event, to the beginning where they came upon the scene, all right, upon the the, the uh, scenario that they're witnessing. And why is that important to uh, re recall in reverse order? Because it prevents schema, okay, so therefore if you're preventing schema, people are not reliant on what they think happened, they're reliant more on what actually happened, and therefore you are going to increase accuracy, okay. And um, finally, report everything. So the interviewer encourages them to report all details, even though they may seem unimportant. Um, and the whole point of that is that they may not realise how significant uh, a little fact is, but it may be very relevant. It might be something they've overlooked, but it's actually very key to what the detectives need, you know, the information the detectives need. So report everything gives them more detail. Okay. You could also include some of the additional features, which I've included here from the MART scheme. Um, watch out also for a question on um, evaluating the cognitive interview, Okay, which I'll, I'll do a separate one, a separate little video on that. But this one is just explain how it's used to improve. So here we're looking all the time at the reliability and the accuracy of these eyewitnesses, how we can improve them.